Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video we're going to be looking at a terminal docker UI called Lazy Docker. Alright, so um, there are a couple of ways and in my next video I will show you how to deploy um, Portainer which is a web based docker UI, docker dashboard where you can see uh, various docker images and you can start stop containers, images, volumes, networks and so on. Um, but this time it's going to be a terminal based docker UI which is lazy docker so I'm going to go to my browser and search for lazy docker there we go so that's the lazy docker so let's download lazy docker it's just a binary file uh, and then we can start using it so if I go to releases at the time of recording this video the latest release is version 0.8 and I'm going to download the Linux version. It's available for Windows as well as for Mac OS. So minus uh, Linux x86-64. Copy the link address and download it. And once it's downloaded, we are going to uh, extract it and then move it to user local bin. Tar is at XF lazy docker. Okay, so there we go. We've got our lazy docker binary. And I'm going to move it to user local bin. sudo install lazy docker user local bin. So now that's in user local bin. And if I do which lazy docker, so we've got lazy docker, lazy docker version, version 0 0.8, which is what we downloaded. We downloaded it for the OS Linux and architecture is x86 64. Okay, so how do we use lazy docker? It's just simple run lazy docker that's it cool would you like to enable anonymous reporting data to help improve lazy docker uh escape okay cool and uh, you can see here immediately it brings up all your running containers stopped containers your images various docker images that you've got and all the docker volumes and you've got the docker logs here okay so you can interact uh, with this UI with your mouse. So uh, I can select uh, the uh, the Docker container that's running here. Con kind control pen. So these are my Kubernetes uh, Docker containers and I've got Rancher uh, that's running, my Nginx that's stopped, PyBanker that's my um, uh, Docker container that's stopped. So now it shows both uh, the running containers as well as the stopped containers and it can also show you we, we can basically we can look at uh, different ways to interact with this ui uh, to manage your docker containers right so images nginx if you click on one of the image it's going to show you uh, the various layers that's contained in that image and we've got volumes uh, mount point so that's the uh, docker container thing okay so we've got the images when was it created size of the image and so on running containers all right so on the right hand side pane here you've got logs you've got stats so stats it shows you the current cpu utilization and the memory utilization so i'm using about four percent one percent two percent and three percent memory utilization config config for that particular container command label if you've got any mount points and the volume that's using 1F997, which is here, 1F997. And we've got the other details about, uh, basically when you run Docker inspect a container, um, it's gonna show all these information. So now you can see all in one place. And we've got top that shows you the process running inside the container. Okay, so how do you interact with uh, the container? So down, he down below here, you can see uh, uh, if you type B, it's gonna show you uh, the list of bulk commands that you can use. So if I type B, it says stop all containers, remove all containers, prone exited container. So when you do Docker system prone, Docker volume prone, it's gonna remove everything that's unused. So you can do that from this UI cancel and there's also if you want to close this just type q or escape that's gone and you can start by again typing lazy docker okay and if you want to um, view the log files in a separate window um, you can click the x that will bring up some menu here so basically if you've got loads of containers here that doesn't fit inside the span you can go to previous tab next tab and so on 
let's try that yep next tab but actually uh, it's showing it's switching the tab here logs stats config top and if I do this left square bracket and right square bracket it's switching between the the tabs here okay and what else so we can hide or show stopped containers by pressing the key E okay so now we can see here it shows both the running and the stopped containers and if I press E it's now showing just the containers that are running not the stopped containers it's like a toggle switch and if you type E again it's showing you all the containers including the containers that have been stopped okay what else we've got uh, if you want to stop a container you can stop it you can restart a container you can attach to a container M to view the logs okay let's look at M so I'm uh, running okay let's say I want to start this container my nginx container which I previously ran and then I stopped the container and if I do R it's going to restart the container R and now you can see uh, my nginx container is running and it's showing some CPU and memory utilization and my nginx has been highlighted is highlighted now and if I type yes it's going to stop the container yes are you sure you want to stop this container yes that's gone okay and if I bring up the menu again you can view logs by pressing M okay and uh, if I click kind worker and I can go and look at the logs here I can scroll but if you want to view the logs in a separate window you can type em that's going to bring up uh, in a full full window maximized window okay and you can press ctrl c and now it's showing you some information press enter to return to lazy docker okay so now we are back in lazy docker all right and if i press em it's going there ctrl c to exit but if you want, if you press Ctrl C and if you want it to take it back straight away to the uh, lazy docker without you pressing the enter or anything, there is an option here. This prompt can be disabled in your config by setting GUI dot return immediately to true. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to find the configuration file for lazy docker and I'm going to put this option and see how it behaves. All right, so escape and the config file for uh, this uh, lazy docker will be in your home directory vi dot config name of the github repo lazy docker config dot yaml so it just contains one value here and I'm going to add this one but it's not in this format you have to use this format okay so GUI return immediately is set to true now save that file launch lazy docker and now if I press M to view in a separate screen and now if I press ctrl C it's going to take me without prompting me it's going to take me back to lazy docker cool that worked and what else uh, view bulk commands um, run predefined custom commands hide show and uh, enter to execute okay ea to attach to a running container um, run predefined custom command c okay let's try that okay my nginx i'm going to start the container i've started the container so now i'm going to type c okay docker exec minus it it's going to it's just going to give me a shell into the running container okay so i'm inside the container my nginx container control c control d now i'm back in here okay now if i do attach for a container does not support attaching you must either run the service with the minus it flag because when i started the container i didn't use the minus it so i won't be able to attach it to the container cool I don't have I don't think there's much to show in this but it's a nice little utility if you are uh, a terminal guy then you can see all your containers images volumes logs um, in one place the more important thing for me is to look at the stats so that gives you a nice um, representation of what the container is currently about how loaded it is how much memory it's using and so on right cool i hope you liked this video please share it with your friends and give it a try let me know if you've got any questions i will see you all in my uh, next video bye bye